Hello and welcome to Dr. Ozello's Sports Medicine Report. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm going to be describing and demonstrating tendon neuroplastic training, which is often abbreviated to TNT for lateral epicondylitis. Lateral epicondylitis is also known as lateral elbow tendinopathy and forearm extensor tendinopathy, but most people know it by its nickname, tennis elbow. When performing tendon neuroplastic training, you want to use a metronome. I have an app set up on my phone. You will be listening and viewing the metronome while performing resistance exercises. Recent evidence has shown that the central nervous system plays a part in chronic and recurring tendinopathies. Therefore, training the central nervous system while performing resistance exercises may help with these conditions. Like I stated before, you're going to use a metronome and you're going to perform an exercise in the isometric fashion, the eccentric fashion, and the concentric fashion for the muscles. When performing it for lateral epicondylitis, we are going to be performing wrist extension. Now, I like to have people use the resistance band, but some people may have you use a dumbbell or a kettlebell, but I like the resistance band because resistance is felt throughout the entire course of the motion. The three phases, again, are the isometric, the eccentric, and the concentric. The eccentric is the negative phase, and the concentric is the positive phase. The metronome can be set to beat anywhere between 6 and 20 beats per minute. That is a 3 second to a 10 second contraction. I'm going to be performing it with beats 6 per minute, so each contraction will be 10 seconds. You want to start with as many repetitions as you could perform without eliciting symptoms or increasing symptoms and you want to start with one set, then slowly build to three sets of 15 repetitions. You can increase the resistance at gradual increments, small gradual increments. Now it's time for the disclaimer. Please do not self-diagnose yourself and do not perform this exercise until you have seen a medical professional. I am a doctor of chiropractic. I have treated numerous patients with lateral epicondylitis. Please see a medical professional, get an evaluation, get a diagnosis, and get a treatment plan. Therefore, they will set you on the proper path to your recovery. If you have been diagnosed with lateral epicondylitis, please check with your medical professional if this exercise will be beneficial to you. To perform tendon neuroplastic training for lateral epicondylitis, you want the patient seated or kneeling. They could be using a bench. You could see I am using a chiropractic table. You want the elbow in near extension, the forearm pronated, and the wrist in flexion, and you want the hand to be hanging off the table. The resistance band should either be held in the opposite hand or connected to a sturdy structure. I'm going to start the metronome and once it, it beats, I'm going to move into the isometric phase. So now I am going to hold wrist extension in an isometric fashion for 10 seconds. Now I'm moving slowly through the eccentric phase. Now the concentric phase of wrist extension. Isometric phase. Again, I have the metronome set for six beats per minute, so each phase will be 10 seconds. I'm slowly moving. In the eccentric phase, you want to control the motion. back upwards through the concentric phase. And you always want to work through a pain-free range of motion. You never want to move in a position 
that is going to elicit or intensify symptoms. Again, you want to build up to 15 repetitions and you want to rest in between sets for about two minutes. This is tendon neuroplastic training, often abbreviated to TNT for lateral epicondylitis, which is nicknamed tennis elbow. You want to really focus when you're doing each phase, but especially on the eccentric phase, eccentric exercise has shown to increase strength and muscle hypertrophy. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate one more repetition. Isometric hold for 10 seconds. And if you can, look at the metronome. This is what I spoke about before where it's visual and audio. While performing tendon neuroplastic training, you always want to work through a symptom-free range of motion. Never perform an exercise that intensifies symptoms or elicits symptoms. When performing TNT, you want to perform it three times a week with a rest day in between. Never perform this exercise two days in a row. So you could do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Therefore, you'll be resting on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday and Sunday or whatever three days work best for you. Just make sure that you have a rest day in between your rehab sessions of performing tendon neuroplastic training. Thank you for viewing today's episode of Dr. Rosello's Sports Medicine Report. I am Dr. Donna Rosello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am the author of Running, Maximize Performance and Minimize Injuries. Please feel free to visit my website, championshipchiropractic.com, where you can get additional information on the book. You can also visit my blog, which is connected to my website. My blog contains articles on health, fitness, and chiropractic. Please feel free to like this video. You can subscribe to my YouTube page, Dr. Donald A. Ozello, DC. If you are watching this video, you are on my YouTube page. Also, if you have questions, feedback, or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. And always remember to train hard, train smart, get adequate rest between your training sessions, utilize nutritional and supplementation strategies that work for you, stay injury-free, and accomplish your goals.